Welcome to the City of Peterborough Election 2018 training video. This video provides basic information about voting in the 2018 municipal and school board elections in the City of Peterborough. Rules for municipal elections in Ontario are outlined in the Municipal Election Act 1996. The Act describes election requirements in detail, such as duties of election officials, rules for candidates, and the process for counting of votes. The City of Peterborough is governed by a Mayor and 10 councillors. The City is divided into 5 wards and residents of each ward elect 2 councillors to represent their ward. Electors can vote for up to 2 councillors on the ballot, but they may vote for only one if they wish. The Mayor is elected by general vote, meaning all Peterborough electors can vote for Mayor. The Mayor and 10 councillors are all elected for a 4 year term. The 5 wards are Ward 1 Autonomy, Ward 2, Monaghan, Ward 3, Town, Ward 4, Ashburnham, Ward 5, Northcrest. The boundaries for Wards 1, 2 and 3 have recently changed. The change was made to equalize the number of electors in each ward to ensure fair and equal representation. There are four school boards in the City of Peterborough. The English Public, English Separate, French Public, and French Separate. Resident electors vote for trustees in one of the four boards. Electors can vote for up to two trustees in one of the English school boards, or one trustee in each of the French school boards. The Peterborough, Victoria, Northumberland, and Clarington Catholic District School Board trustees have been acclaimed. Electors are given one ballot that matches their options for ward councillors and school board trustees. For example, a Ward 1 resident can receive one of four ballot faces depending upon their school support. They could be a Ward 1 supporter of the English Public Board, Ward 1 supporter of the French Public Board, Ward 1 supporter of the French Separate Board, or a Ward 1 resident with no school support. As the Peterborough, Victoria, Northumberland and Clarington Catholic District Board position has been acclaimed, the English separate school board electors will receive a ballot with no school support. As a result, an elector in the City of Peterborough could receive one of any 20 different ballot faces depending on their individual circumstances. An elector must be at least 18 years old, a Canadian citizen and a resident of the City of Peterborough. This includes non-resident property owners and their spouses. Students attending post-secondary school away from home, such as Fleming or Trent, may vote in the municipality where they study, in the City of Peterborough, and at home, if that is outside of the municipality. The Municipal Property Assessment Corporation maintains a list of all eligible electors in the City of Peterborough outside an election period. The clerk's office receives the preliminary list of electors and makes any necessary changes to bring it up to date. Electors can add, change, or update their information on elect election day at any voting location. Depending on your position as an election official, you may be asked to make these changes. In late September, voter information cards are mailed to every elector on the list of electors. Voter cards give information on where and when to vote, as well as how to vote online. Voter information cards can be used for free transit to any voting location on Election Day. Identification needs to show a person's name and qualifying address in the City of Peterborough. Photo identification is not required. Examples would include a driver's license, telephone bill, rental agreement, tax bill, or other documentation. A complete list will be included in voter information packages sent to households. The following section outlines some people electors may see at the voting location. Supervisor, Deputy Returning Officer. They supervise the entire voting location. They ensure that the, the site is processing electors eff effectively. Deputy Returning Officer. They issue ballots and strike electors from the voters list. Revision Deputy Returning Officer, they complete revisions to elector information on list. They issue ballots and they strike electors from the voters list. 
tabulator deputy returning officer. They're responsible for the operation of the vote tabulator, which feeds ballots into the vote tabulator, and they also troubleshoot blank, misread, overvoted, or ambiguous ballots. The voting clerk provides teams of DROs or RDO, RDOs with the appropriate ballot faces to give to the elector. And the greeter greets and ensures electors go to the appropriate location. Electors who bring their voter information cards and identifications will go to what we call the express lane to receive their ballot. Electors with just identification will be processed regularly. These electors may be on the list or they may need to make changes. The following outlines an express voting scenario. The elector arrives to the voting location and is greeted by our friendly greeter. They proceed to the express voting lane because they have their identification and their voter information card ready. The DRO scans the voter information card, gives them a ballot, the elector goes behind the screen, marks their ballot, and gives it to the tabulator deputy returning officer. After that, they leave the voting location. In the other scenario, this elector only has identification. So when they go to the greeter, the greeter informs them to go to the regular poll. So the RDRO will verify if they're on the list, will make any necessary changes, and give them a ballot. The elector then goes and marks their ballot, and gives it to the tabulator deputy returning officer before leaving the voting location. Electors have four options when it comes to casting a ballot this October. Electors can vote on October 22nd, which is election day at any of the 17 voting locations throughout the city. Electors can also vote online with a computer, tablet, or smartphone as early as October 9th. People have the option to advance vote it at City Hall using accessible technology starting on October 15th. Advanced voting is also set for October 12th at five voting locations. Thank you for watching and remember Peterborough votes on October 22nd.